What are we doing today? We are taking action, serious action, okay? Hello, can you hear me? I'm in California. Just kidding. Take a drink of water, right? Let's start with that. Water. You brainstorm the goals. You wrote down actionable steps. You put your paper on the wall in front of your face, right? Please comment below and tell me you did that. All right, awesome. You made a plan. You figured out how you can fit in the time to do these things. Now, do it. It's time to actually do it. Yes. Remember I said you can do all the research that you want on anything, for example, exercise, and you still won't grow a muscle? <laughs> grow a muscle, that sounds funny. You can do all the planning and research that you want, but it's not going to grow your muscles. Hard truths. So start with something you're excited about. And I hope that the things you wrote on your opportunities to explore list are at least a little bit exciting for you. Although, let me tell you a story, okay? Recently, I bought a car. My mom calls me up and she's like, so you like the car? I'm like, no, I do not like the car, okay? I don't like the car. But I do like the fact that the car is reliable. I like that the windows are power windows instead of cranks. I like that I don't feel like it's going to fall apart on me every time I go over a speed bump. I like that I'm able to drive around without worrying and stressing about who's going to help me if I end up on the side of the road. Sometimes our specific goals, like for me, buying a reliable car, I did not like the process, I did not enjoy it, I procrastinated it to be honest because I didn't want to do it, but sometimes our goals are things that we just kind of need to do in order to go to the next step, right? Maybe it's to have a little more peace of mind. Maybe it's to be able to, I'm trying to think of other examples, but you get what I'm saying, right? It's sometimes not exactly exciting. Like I'm not real excited about getting into my new car. It's not that new, it's a 2013, right? But, but it's the things that this car gives me and allows me to relax and do the things that I want to do. Sometimes you have to look a little bit past the goal and just realize that this is a step towards something better. And that's what gets you excited about buying the car that you don't like. <laughs> so you get, your excited, get yourself excited about something. You feel a little bit of motivation, right? But motivation and willpower and inspiration, they're not going to get you through to your end goal. Especially if this thing takes a kind of a long process, a few months, maybe a year, whatever it is. Motivation, inspiration, that kind of stuff, it will get you started, but it will not keep you going. You need to have discipline, discipline, discipline. Discipline is what keeps you going. And like I said in the last video, the monkey brain and the, I don't know, adult brain, monkey mind and adult mind. I think Jay Shetty, if you've heard of him, he talks about the monkey mind. When you have discipline to, guys, I'm sorry if you're tired of the exercise example, but everybody gets it and it's so easy to understand. It's a great metaphor for everything in life, okay? So just bear with me. Let's go with it. Discipline is what knocks out the monkey mind and allows you to do things without allowing the monkey mind to negotiate and get you off track. So discipline is what is going to pull your blankets off of you in the morning. It's gonna get your feet on the floor. It's gonna make you go for the salad instead of the pasta. You're reminding yourself of where you wanna be, why you wanna be there, what steps you need to take to get there. I'm serious, I, I struggle with eating random junk food. I struggle with not wanting to go to the gym. I struggle with procrastination, all these things as much as any other person. But I promise the less I allow my mind to just go back and forth negotiating 
And the more I just take the action, the more, the more better I feel, the more fulfilled I'm feeling, the better I feel about my day, the better I feel in my body because I'm not eating junk food. I'm choosing somewhat healthier options. It's all baby steps. And the more you take the steps, the more momentum you're going to have the better your discipline is going to be. I want to share you a story. Share you a story. Oh my goodness gracious. I want to share a story with you that I was told recently. It's not really a story. It's just a... Someone told me, if you want to build the Eiffel Tower, all you got to do is grab a brick and put it on the ground. That's the first step. Obviously, that's not how you build stuff, but the point is... The first step is not that hard. People look at big, huge things and be like, oh, I need a huge loan for this. Oh, I need to have tons of money in order to ask the bank for the loan. Oh, I need to do all these big old things. But millionaires, billionaires, people, people who are earning six figures, they didn't get there by one big old leap. It was one step and then another step and then another step. And anybody can do that first step, right? The first step is as simple as putting a brick, grabbing a brick and putting it on the ground. Anyone can do that. And if anyone can do the first step, anyone can do the second step. And once you do the second step, you've built a little more strength to do the third step, right? It's all, it's a staircase. You're not going to step from the bottom in one step, get to the top of the staircase. No, you got to step and step again and again and again. And eventually you grow and you get to the top. Okay? Guys, you can tell this is all stuff I'm very passionate about. I'm just like, oh my goodness, let's get people on the right track. So let's get you to what do you want your life to be? What is something you want in life? Think about it. Let's get you there. Let's do it. I'm doing it. You can do it too. Obviously mindset is a huge part of everything. I mean, mindset is what stops people from moving out of their comfort zones, of moving towards their goals, of even planning anything of, oh, mindset is a huge part because if you think of it, 90, I don't know what's the percentage, right? There's obviously a certain percentage of people that are physically incapable of physically incapable or mentally incapable of doing certain things, but most of us are able physically and are able mentally to work towards things in our lives. So when you look at maybe some fancy car driving down the road, stop telling yourself, oh, I love that car. That would be my dream car, but oh, I could never do that. That's way out of my league way out of reach for me. There's no way I'm going to ever buy that dream car. And for me personally, I might see a car and love it, but that doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. My logical brain would never buy a Maserati. Even though I really like the look of a Maserati, I'm not going to buy one. It doesn't matter how much money I have. I'm not going to buy a Maserati. I mean, I'm saying that now, but like if I had literally like billions of dollars. I might just buy one, right? Just because I'm like, oh, now I can buy one. This is super cool. This is super fun. But I don't think I will because my logical brain is like, I don't need one. It's a tiny car. I can't fit anything in it. Whether or not I'm there monetarily, I'm still not going to do that thing. So you need to be very truthful to yourself about what do you actually want? What are your priorities? What is going to fulfill you? Look at these people as motivators, inspiration, and know that if someone else can do this thing, you can do it too. You really can. You just need to put in the work. You just need to take a few steps and keep at it. The only time you fail is when you stop. Wow, it's getting really bright all of a sudden. So let's change your mindset, okay? And I want to talk a little bit more about fear in the next video because I know that fear is such a big thing. Okay. All right, that's enough for now. Okay, see you next week. Bye.